Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> sometimes what is going on ladies and gentlemen children of all the ages of all the ages this time right you gotta mix it up sometimes okay catch them off guard anyway today's video top 10 most anticipated mazes or top nine it's nine it's There's not no all nine. top nine yeah. most anticipated mazes but don't pretend we'll always go to the walking dead the walking dead in our hearts so <laughs> more dead than ever but yeah, number uh, so it's gonna be our top nine most anticipated mazes. We have not seen each other's list, yeah. So this will be the actual video where stuff might be different. <laughs> yeah. Um, we may have some similarities because uh, we were kind of discussing them as we were writing down our list, but we didn't. We don't know what our lists are. Yeah. So yeah, keep us off. Yeah, number nine for me will be Dark Ride. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, number nine for me is going to be Pumpkin Eater. That's I've fine. heard not heard. I've not heard great things about this maze. That's my number nine as well. Yeah, I've not heard great things about this maze. Um, I just don't like bugs. You did say spiders. There's spiders. In yeah. There. Um, it, I, I mean, it's, it's a good concept, but yeah, it's not my favorite maze at the yeah. event. Yeah, I'm not super like. Oh my god, let's go to Pumpkin Eater. Yeah, like that. If, if it may change after I go in it, but I mean, I mean, even then, like there, there'll probably be nights where we're like, hey, let's just not go in that area. <laughs> Let's go to the real ones. Yep. Um, all right. Number eight, I'm going to go with uh, Paranormal Inc. Ooh. Now, um, I've been through Paranormal Inc. like the last couple times it's been at the event. So there's nothing new to me. I really wish every year they did Paranormal Inc. It would have been like another episode. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be like a paranormal show. Yeah. So I wish they would have done like a new episode and it would have changed it up a little bit. But it's kind of the same thing. And I'm hoping it comes to an end pretty soon. Or if they want to bring it back again, give it a new episode. Yeah. My number eight will go to Shadowlands. Okay. Uh, I've heard like it has a, like that one really good scare where like they kind of slingshot out. And yeah, come out. that's the best one. I, I think that's gonna get you. Yeah, I, I mean, is it really that hard to get me? They that's could, true. They could literally walk up to me and just be like, boom, boom. right out. You're like, ah. Yep. Um. So, but I mean, I'm not really super like all like once again, I'm not like let's go to Shadowlands. Yeah. I probably you know I'll probably enjoy it, but I'm not. And it's his last uh, year. Yeah, it's his last year. So we got to give it its farewell. Farewell. Um, at, at least for me, it'll be a hello and farewell. Farewell. Uh, number seven for me is actually going to go to Shadowlands. Um, I, I really enjoy this maze. And I, I like the samurai aspect in the Suicide Forest of Japan, which I thought was really cool. And like you said, those freaking slingshot um, freaking scare actors get me every time. And they even have some people that are dressed in like camouflage that will hide in freaking bushes and stuff. That oh, that's cool. Too, so. Yeah, it's a really cool maze. Um, number seven for you, buddy? Mine will go Paranormal Inc. Okay. Uh, flip flop on that. We flip flopped on that one. Paranormal Inc., once again, like the big complaint is. Why not do another episode? Yeah, why not do another episode? Same, same trick every yeah. year. Yeah. Um, but it looks like it's a cool trick. Um, and it'll Paranormal be your Inc. first year uh, experience in it. Yeah. So. so, yeah, everything I'm here for is my first year. Um, and so I'm excited for that because ghost things are terrifying to me. Yeah. And so that'll, because I've seen ghosts, I've been encountered ghosts in real life, so I'm kind of like, let's see what happens. Yep. Um, number six, Dark Entities. Dark Entities. Now, I love Dark Entities because I love aliens. Yeah. So when I first went through this, this was a new maze they added last year. Yeah. When I went through this maze, it was, uh, it was cool. It gave me some mean alien meets uh, the thing vibes, yeah. which I liked a lot, and uh, and, I, and I really like what um, Knotts does with like kind of being interactive in a way. Uh, like when you're walking to the ship, there's a part where you could feel it like vibrating. Yeah, and I thought that was really badass because it gave you the it gave you the idea of like something's happening. Yeah, and the alien looked pretty cool. Uh, like I said, it gave me mean alien vibes, but like the alien looked like the thing, so like that's why I really kind of. Enjoyed it, and you know me, I'm a sucker for sci-fi. So sucker for sci-fi. Ah, uh, that's another. That's another thing I'm looking forward to. My number six. This is six, right? Yeah. Is Waxworks. Really? I wasn't. I mean, I, I I like the idea of them bringing another new base, but I wasn't sold on it. Really? I wasn't sold on it. I feel like it's gonna be creepy, because 
wax figures are creepy as they are. Creepy enough. But I'm not like... I'm not sold on this one. I, uh... Okay, I'll, I'll get to that one. Yeah, I mean, we'll get to it when you get there, but... I feel like it's gonna be cool, and there'll be some really good scares. But, like... How many different tricks are they gonna have in this space? Yeah. And I think that's where I... You know, my, my technical thinking is, like... Okay. Like, we're gonna encounter the guy, the mastermind. Who's the overarching villain. And then we're gonna get through waxing and maybe watch a procedure, but outside of that, what else are they gonna bring to the table? That's true. Um, number five for me is gonna go to Special Ops Infected. Oh wow. Um, I love Special Ops. We're in the top five now, so. Yeah. I love Special Ops Infected. I, like I said in the previous video, I really wish I would've been there for year one uh, when I was in Camp Snoopy. That yeah. looked legit, like amazing. I really wish they would have gone through with the idea of them going to Soak City. I mean, so do I. That would have been so cool. Um, but it would have been expensive, so I didn't see why they didn't do it. Yeah. And the liability of water. Yeah. But I would have thought everything would have been, like, drained and stuff like that. I don't think they would have kept the water in. But even even if you fall into them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but nonetheless, I love Special Ops. It gives me that zombie apocalypse feeling where I can, like, play a video game. And it gives me that kind of type of vibe, so... I am. Um, I, I love it. And it's his last year, so uh, let's see what happens. Proper send-off again. Proper send-off. My number five is going to go with Dark Entities. Okay. I watched clips of TLEV going through it, and I really enjoyed that. I liked, I liked how they did a lot at the beginning. kind of reminded me of Space Mountain. Yeah. Um, so I like that idea. Uh, I mean, I only saw the beginning, and I know there'll be some good scares throughout. Alien meets the thing sounds like a great time, and you know, you know, it's right there in the middle, basically. Yeah. Number four for me is gonna go to the Depths. Now that was my all-time favorite maze. Yeah. Um. Like ever. But. But um, there's two new mazes coming, and I'm very they're they're kind of up on my list, and I and I really want to see what they're gonna be like. But Depths, nonetheless, is a fantastic maze, yeah. and I'm very much looking forward to seeing Sammy's reaction going through it. Um. Outside of him getting scared, just like I want to see what he thinks of it overall. What is that? What is idea? You know, what he what he liked about it and stuff. Because I, I I truly think last year that was the maze that stole it for me. Wow. So I, I'm very much looking forward to uh, seeing that again. Um, and I can't wait to go through, of course, the the underwater scene, which I thought was badass. And of course, going to Davy Jones's uh, ship and seeing all the shark people, which I thought was really cool. So I'm really I'm really looking forward to that again. Yes, my number four is actually going to be the depth as well. Nice. Um, the technical stuff is going to be a lot of fun. The sea monsters, great. Davy Jones, great. Shark people, great. But once it, it, it's again, uh, how many tricks can they pull on this thing? Yeah. And I feel like they'll pull a little bit more tricks than the other ones. Yeah. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. See what happens. But like, like I think the same way it went up on your list last year, it may go up on my list. Yeah. Number three for my most anticipated is going to be Waxworks. Ooh. Now, uh, this is on my top three because Waxworks is going to be a new maze at the event this year. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing how they do this. Now, when I heard this announcement, I thought of uh, House of Wax, that movie. Same here. So I, I'm, I'm curious to see how they're going to do it. And... I think other than, yeah, seeing the procedure, seeing the villain, I think we'll see, like, his collection of wax figures, which I think will be eerie and creepy. Yeah. And if they can pull off the stunt, like Horror Nights does, where, like, all of them are fake except for, like, a couple. Well, that's that's what I anticipate. Yeah. Which I hope they'll do that, but I, I think, like, it would be cool to, like, see that it's it was a, it was an old rundown, it's an old wax museum that was installed. So it'd be cool like in the beginning you see it's just a wax museum, you don't think much of it, and then as it progresses you start seeing the torture, the people getting killed, maybe you're seeing uh, people trying to escape, people running away, um, maybe you'll see a lot of that like that fun stuff. So yeah. I, I'm curious to see what we're going to be seeing in that maze, because uh, it sounds amazing. Alright. Number, th that was your three, right? My three. My number three We'll be going to Special Ops. Okay. Uh, I, I'm a sucker for zombies. I love playing zombies. And the fact that I get to have that such great interactivity of shooting. Yeah. And that's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be really cool to be... Because 
in this maze you both have scare actors and then you have the what are the other people called oh like, the they're like the people that guide you like the, yeah like the special ops unit yeah so that's gonna be really cool to be able to interact with special ops you play with the guns and to see really the connection between your gun and shooting someone is kind of cool yeah um that's gonna be cool um i love the idea that they're gonna split us up too yeah that sounds cool um when we're going through the meat market yeah. um, um, right after we get out of the the convenience store that's yeah. gonna be really cool um that's gonna have some opportunities for a lot of because a lot of the scares in this one are medium to long range whereas this one's gonna have a lot of close range at that point yeah so that's gonna be a different trick which is gonna be cool um, and to really just be able to, I feel like this maze has the opportunity for a different experience every time. Every time, yeah. And getting to talk to Jackie a few months back um, about her experience with it, um, you know, being a, being in the maze, and how they had a, uh, progressively had a story going on throughout. Yeah. And even uh, talking to Bree about it, too. Yeah. Like, Bree was, Bree and Jackie, like, really gave us kind of an inside look of what it took to be a character in that maze, and... Uh, what they did to kind of make the nights funner for them. Yeah, and so I'm gonna love being able to say on the 19th what it's like yeah. and how it changes on the final night. On the final night of yeah. November 2nd. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, number two, Dark Ride. Number two is Dark Ride. Yeah, um, I, I really like Dark Ride and I'm excited to see the two new scenes of the gift shop and the security room. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's just an amazing concept for me. So you got a, a rundown carnival Dark Ride with the practical effects that you can get from the fucking Halloween store, <laughs> yeah. which I thought was cool. And then as you progress into the maze, you see the carnies that take it over are like slowly, like they're killing people. And as you, you're, you know, you're, uh, you're kind of supposed to be like a teen abandoned, going through an abandoned dark ride, like try to do it as like a fun little thing, you know? And yeah. then you realize it's something more sinister than that. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing the, of course, like I said, the two new mazes, are the two new rooms and the, the interactive, interactiveness of the maze. Yeah. So let's see what happens. Yes. My number two will be Origins of Calico. Wow. Okay. This maze is going to be fantastic. And one and two for me, once again, like my Horror Nights one, coin flip. Like, yeah. you could ask me five minutes from now and it may change. I don't think so. That's an exaggeration. But I feel like this one's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be something new and exciting. The, the fact that it's connecting to the scare zone, slightly to the hanging, that's going to be really cool. If it is the Green Witch, even better. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, you know, it, the overall theme of Knott's Berry Farm is very Western. And so I love the fact that they're bringing a Western maze into the yeah. event. My number one, by process of elimination, you guys should have figured it <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, you've already figured this one out. Origins of the Curse of Calico. Now, I was sold when they uh, promoted this maze at the announcement event. Um, it was fucking, I thought it was a great idea for a maze. You got the little scene that they put together that they recorded at Knott's. Of yeah. course, of the mayor sentencing the witch into the death sentence for, yeah. for witchcraft. And, uh, yeah, you know, as she's about to get hung, you see her eyes turn red. And that's what starts the curse of Calico. Yeah. Uh, I very much am looking forward to this maze. I can, when, the way John Cook uh, described it was like, we're going to start in the cemetery and you're going to see a lot of just, like crazy shit going on. And as we progress in the maze, you're going to see like the curse of Calico turn into the curse of Calico. And really, it's where the birth of like everything happened. Yeah. The ghost town, like, scares them really happened. Yeah. Because that's where the monsters are really coming to life. And yeah, they did say they're, they're trying to combine uh, three things in this thing, which would be the scares on the show and the maze. And by the show, they mean the hanging aspect of it, of, of course. Um, them always doing a hanging in Calico. That's just something that they've always lived by the law yeah. of Calico. You got, of course, Ghost Town itself, which is um, going to be the uh, scare zone and maze aspect of it that's based off of, which is the town of Calico. So I'm very much looking forward to this. The effects look cool. And like I said, if, it, if the witch turns out to be the actual Green Witch and that's how the origin of the Green Witch started, I will be very surprised and shocked at this mix. Yes, definitely. My number one process of elimination is Dark Ride. I loved what we saw at Midsummer for this. Um, the fact that we're getting two new rooms. The gift shop is going to be fantastic way to leave. Yeah. It's going to have the opportunity for that final scare. Um, the entrance, you have the button that you can press, and I'm really excited to see what the hell that brings. Yeah. 
Is that going to bring all hell onto us? Or is that going to bring all hell into something else? Or is it just going to be a button? Yeah. Who knows? What would be really cool is if you press that button, the screens come to live, and you can see, like, scares happening. That'd be fun. That'd be so cool. That'd be really fun. That'd be really fun. So that is our top 10 anticipated list for uh, Not Scary, Scary Farm, Farm 2019. We will. We went last night for opening night. Probably didn't hit everything, but we'll be there tonight for September 20th with Celine, and we're yeah. going to try to hit everything. Yes. So if you want to know how you can hit everything, follow our game plan, which yeah. is up now. Our game plan is up. Yep. And uh, meet us in the fog. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a fun season. Fun season. Very fun season. The next what is it like? Seven weeks. Yeah, it's gonna be busy for us. Busy. I'm already talking. But we do it for you guys. We do it for you guys. Um, all right. Tune in next week because we'll talk a little bit about Queen Mary. Yeah. Some LA haunted hayride. Yes. And a podcast. Yeah. Maybe not as much video. Maybe not a week worth of videos, but we'll, we'll know, see what happens. You we'll never see know what happens. Yeah, we'll see how Tony feels. We'll see how I feel. So far, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, uh, make sure to hit, uh, join the 600 subscriber giveaway tonight. Is the last night at midnight. Yeah. Uh, Friday, September twentieth. Twentieth. Yeah. Uh, at midnight is when the uh, contest ends. And uh, be sure to, of course, get that $25 gift card. You got three entries. You can do it for here on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter. Yeah. So just all you got to do is comment your favorite horror movie and like this video post. Uh, and, yeah, we'll pick the winner on the Not Scary Farm vlog. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for the constant support for 600 plus on the Madhouse. We're only going to keep going from there. Yes. Until then, we'll see you in the fog. See you.